Hi, I'm Tom. Welcome to Whiskey Shorts. Uh, today we're doing another 101 whiskies to try before you die. Uh, first impression review. Um, as some of you know, uh, I've been working my way through Ian Buxton's book. Um, and today we are on to Dram 13, and lucky for some, which is the Ben Nariak Curios Curiositas. Sorry, not very good with my Latin. Um, and this is a peated malt, so uh, yeah. Looking at the book, um, it tells you a bit about the history of Ben Riek. Um, it was a Billy Walker distillery, and um, those of you who are familiar with Billy uh, will realise that because it's got the capital R in the middle, similar to Glendronic, another one of the distilleries he bought and then uh, revitalised. Um, it is a Speyside whiskey. Um, based in Elgin, uh, which is a very nice part of the world, um, and it's now owned by the Brown Foreman Corporation. Um, there's a little bit of information in here about the um, aims of the distillery, which is to be quite new and experimental, um, but proof is in the pudding, so let's have a look and see what this Curiositas is like. So first things to say, it's 46% whiskey, so it's got a decent ABV to it. On the nose, it's uh, it's got that sort of salinity that you'd expect with a coastal whiskey. Um, and uh, Murray is or Murray is right up near the top uh, bit of Speyside, um, near the coast, and uh, you can go and see the jets taking off uh, from the base near there, which is quite a nice thing to do. There's uh, a hint of silage to it that you get sometimes with peated whiskey. Some caramels in there as well. Oh. Yeah, you get look at the tail end of the smoke. Not overpowering though. Um, lots of flavours to be found in there. So. Overall, quite nice on the nose. Uh, should we go in for the palate? So yeah, it's quite um, thin at first on the mouth feel. There is a whole range of flavour within there. Um, it sort of starts off quite light, then you get the smoke coming through, so I'd say maybe the slightest touch of vanilla and caramel, followed by the smoke, followed by uh, pencil shavings, if, uh, if you're ever familiar with pencil sharpenings. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's translating on the palate, but for me it is. Um, obviously taste is subjective. Obviously, I ate a lot of pencils while I was uh, in primary school. You get a little bit of that saltiness, and then at the end comes the smoke um, a lot more. It's um, it's got almost an acrid sort of smokiness to it. So not what I'm used to with a bonfire. Um, or you know, or TCP. It's more acrid um, and interesting, I'd say. So finish, I'd say, is fairly long. I'm getting some mintiness on the end of it. Um, still feel the fire within my chest, and yeah, overall, I'd say it's quite a nice dram. I'd encourage you to go out and try it yourself. Um, I think it's got a lot to hold. Um, I'm going to go back to it. Obviously, everything you've heard today is very much my first impressions. And it seems to me like a dram that warrants a bit more exploration. So I want to go and do that. I'm going to leave you to have your evening. Uh, thanks for joining me. Hope I see you on the next one. I've been Tom. This has been Whiskey Shorts. And uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.